I'm lucky that way. I find good things. And usually I find only one thing. And I haven't, let me tell you what happens. Let me, let me tell you what happens. My life. You know, I, I live very low to the ground. Uh -huh. I'm not into that materialistic thing that y'all, you know, y'all, you know, you know, y'all people be into. Very low to the ground, and usually have one or two things that are so unique, everybody wants them. They're always quality and stuff like that, but very few. So I'm going like, hey, wait a second, I found this glass right here in your place. I said, this is a nice glass. This is a nice glass to drink water in. So I have a gold <laughs> trim or something. No, no, I don't do that. No, 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 no. Is it? No, I mean, no, 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 no gold. I don't do that. I told you I, I'm not materialistic. Well, I know you just said that, but I wanted to know <laughs> when I saw that glass, mm -hmm. I saw it two times and I said, I got to ask a brother about this glass. That's right. It has to belong to a set. A set. Anything as pretty as this. I don't know. You probably was well, probably one of your sets, but I just found this one. I don't care about no set. One is good enough. In fact, now look at you. I thought you went to finishing school. <laughs> you know, you know. Let's say my, you went to, my baby. <laughs> yes, she said you went to finishing school. Now she sees you drinking out a uh, water and in a bottle. She's gonna say, "What kind of finishing school no, did Ma go to?" No, she'll, no, no, she'll say, "I gotta remember now to tell my friends that it's okay." To drink from a bottle. No, 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 no. Here, here, take this glass. No, 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 no. You mean I can't finish? No, no, no you can't. my liquor. Like no, duck, duck, duck. Glass is clean and everything like that. I'll put it half a little bit. There you go. Now, you're a lady. Excuse me. <laughs> notice, the, notice the finger on the side. <laughs> That's, wait a second. That put, put, that, put, put that finger up. Put that finger up. Isn't that, isn't that what, the, uh, what your sorority does? AKAs. Yeah. Isn't no. that your, that's your, that's not your sign? What do you Some have? of them do that, you know. Oh, when did that come about? When did that start? I guess about, about two years ago. Really? That soon? No, it had to be longer than that. Really? I don't know which undergraduate chapter that started that. Mm -hmm. They, I think they may have gone to a national convention and that particular group of women were asked to sing or do a little something that they did when they were online. Mm -hmm. And that particular group of kids just thought it was the finest thing to, to do that. We are number, I guess they were saying we are number one. Uh -huh. But it, how can number one be used with a pointing <laughs> finger? Somebody said. I think they used the pinky finger though. But No, but they were using the pointing finger at that time. Uh -huh. Some one of the old sorrow had been there for years, walked over to him and said, Darlings, that was a beautiful presentation. But are you mindful that the pointing finger does not carry the weight? And the something and something the kids looked at her as if to say, My dear lady, did you say we did well or not? One of them said, well, Sora, what would you suggest? Which finger should we use on our hand? She said, try the pointing finger. This is the, the pointing finger. Um, when they see you with this, they know a lady is around. Uh, so all of them said, thank you. That's, that's you know, the folks in my chapter said, Doe, are you carrying that back with your report? I said, no, I'm not going through all that. The next day we went someplace. What did we see? The little baby. I said, I said they go through each chapter or a location. You had something different. But there's a lot of chapters, though. How many chapters? Is this a, is 52. A, right now, it's only 52. It seems like because you've been around for a long How long has been the AKA's been around? A long time. Yeah, yeah, nearly 70 some years or, or more. Because really? it started at, at um, Howard University. Mm. And uh, the chapters, in some areas, the chapters are large. Our, our area, Mid Atlantic, is a large area because it incorporates some of North Carolina mm. and some portions of uh, uh, 
Delaware. Mm-hmm. Borderline, a lot of borderline mm-hmm. chapters are in the Mid Atlantic. Well, that means they have a choice to go on one way or another. And they choose <laughs> to hang out with you. That's right. They choose. I see. But when I went over at Virginia State, they had what you call getting getting to know you uh, receptions. Mm-hmm. That meant any girl on the chapter was invited. Mm-hmm to attend that. Mm-hmm. And they did all kinds of stuff, <laughs> uh, entertainment. And then in the part of it, they were able to indicate uh, some of the things that they do in the on the campus, mm-hmm. in the community, nationwide also. Mm-hmm. And this one girl said, and if you want to be part of this type of organization, we want you to know you are welcome. So my, my girl, my my roommate said, "What do you think?" I said, "Sounds interesting, doesn't she?" Say, "Yeah, let's listen to some more." They have to say, mm-hmm. but that was the AKAs. Mm-hmm. We went to the Deltas, bless their hearts, and th- they had a nice plant program, but it was almost like a minor indoctrination. Mm. We. Ah, oh, the deltas of Sigma Theta. <laughs> and I, we are the demon. And if you think you uh, choose another chapter, <laughs> another sorority on the campus, you'll be sadly mistaken. <laughs> I said, I don't think her, her attitude is kind of, mm. but my roommate said, you know what? Her roommate is kind of, uh, I see here we saying the same thing. I don't think anyone at that rush, that party, went to, yes, we did, had two, became Deltas because their boyfriend mm. was going to pledge Omega. And she thought a Delta should be with an Omega. And that was the only reason she thought she did that. And that on that particular campus? Uh, on that particular campus, because uh-huh. oh, okay, all right. But uh, some of the some of the campuses uh, have to be have to be very careful because I think one chapter when we went to Chicago for a conference, somebody did not carry out the mandates of a child's medical. History. She had. She fell off a fell from a horse, mm-hmm. and she injured her her leg. And she was advised by her doctor doctor teams not to engage in certain activities because it was she could have a uh, some problems. They said, mm-hmm. and we had to get it signed. They had to get it signed by the medical doctor on the campus, a medical doctor in the city mm-hmm. in which the campus was located, and they had to have a, this, the uh, chapter had to sign a release form stating <laughs> that they would adhere to those mandates. From, from the doctor? Yeah. From the, the girl, okay, yeah. family, and everybody else. Mm-hmm. It was a, a doc, a big thing mm. when they signed that and when that girl I was getting ready to go online some somebody from another campus came on <laughs> and they said fresh meat mm. fresh meat I said fresh meat I said I'm learning everything from this chapter mm. I thought all of that was from that particular chapter mm. And that the, uh, somebody in our chapter had invited them to be special. Mm-hmm. Well, when the Supreme Vossilus got up to make an announcement. The Supreme who? Vossilus, the president. Okay. Vossilus. Well, how do you spell it? B-A-S-I-L-E-U-S. 
And what what is it? it means president? Right? President. Okay. Where is it from? It's a national. If it's our national definition uh -huh. of president, just like the Omegas, they have mm -hmm. the bosses there too. Oh, okay. And uh, she said, "I hope you have some some thing in your purse or checkbook because we stand at." Uh, a threshold. One of our chapters is going to be dissolved or put on an indefinite uh, suspension. Yeah. And I said, oh my gosh, what could it be? They meant they were in court. The, the, the parents had sued the chapter mm. and during that time with in court uh, they were told that they may be dissolved and what have you mm. well I didn't know some of my sorrows had some money brother when there was a break at lunch just after lunch I saw these people walking up there some of them couldn't <laughs> hardly walk some were in the wheelchair some were walkers, but they were getting up there to where the Supreme process was and just handing over. Some of them, they gave them loose money, checks, mm -hmm. something else. Which when they, <laughs> when they finished, somebody counted, and then she said, <coughs> my dear sisters, you have now given you have given so freely that the, the little sisters, and she referred to, to them, the little sisters. Before, when she was talking about their you know, chapter being dissolved, she said, the sisters. Mm -hmm. But this time was little sisters with so much love in her heart. I said, that's a different sound. They had enough money at that time that this person, the bossless, Supreme Bossless, could send a wire to the national office, which was not too far from where we were meeting, mm -hmm. but she was gonna do this thing in another way. Said to tell the the, the little sorrows and she named the chapter. Try to get I want you to get your house in order with a capital zero. <laughs> and don't have don't make me go down there. I have to go anyway at the court hearing, she said, but don't make me go before the hearing. Because there's some things I want to say to them. Mm. I want you them to know her voice changed. That they're not playing with a dice. They're not playing with marbles. They're not playing with this. They're playing with people, hearts and souls and something. I said, she must be a preacher, you know. Powerful, powerful. Let me tell you, I have not heard anybody make an announcement of how much money of what you've been given until that day. Somebody said, sound like church to me. Mm -hmm. And somebody applauded, evidently too early. The boss, the supreme boss was looking at <laughs> you and said, are you finished, darling? And, and the girl later said, I apologize. You know, she didn't say I apologize out loud. She said, I apologize. Mm -hmm. My roommate said, are you going to clap? I said, who, oh, me? I had to learn how to clap. She said, I'm going to learn. They, she said, but I just, it was worthy of what she said for some kind of saying, I agree. Mm -hmm. I said, you know how we can agree? Back in our own chapter, we'll see that this does not happen. Mm -hmm. And if we get notes and things from parents and then their doctors and things saying certain things and we sign it, we say we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Mm 
-hmm. And we're going to do it in a manner befitting this group. Mm -hmm. All AKAs. Mm -hmm. Well, somebody said there was going to be a special reception. Uh, a fraternal reception. I said, I don't know what this is. Never been to one of these before. So my roommate said, well, we won't find out tonight because we're going. Mm -hmm. So we the Supreme Bosses may be there and she may want to see how many do we have. <laughs> well, we didn't know what the fraternal thing was. We know what fraternity was, but not fraternal reception. Brother, the Omegas, Alphas, uh, Sigmas, Kappas, somebody, ever, I think every fraternity our brothers or representatives were there. And we had a full course, I call it was a full course meal. But it was just a, everything you would want for a dinner, mm. no, for a dinner and not a reception, mm. punching cookies, you know. Mm. We had some real food. Mm. When we walked in, they were standing at the door with their arms ready for us to touch their elbows to go to our, take us to a seat. But the fraternity people. These fraternity mm -hmm. brothers. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, as you were going, <coughs> they would periodically introduce themselves and say, uh, I'm one of your sweethearts, which was the Kappas. Mm -hmm. If an alpha was escorting you, they would say, I'm an alpha, phi alpha, brothers, uh, man. Gracious to see you, dear lady. If the Sigmas would take, they was, everybody has, would introduce themselves that way by identifying the fraternity they were part of. <laughs> they gave us our seats. And when you get up, when we get up to go to the bathroom or something, I learned that particular night that when you get up, you 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 uh, you asked to excuse yourself. May I be excused? Mm -hmm. And when they did that, all the guys at the table came up like they were getting ready to salute the American flag or something. Mm -hmm. Stood up until you left the table, and when you returned, they did the same thing. Mm -hmm. One brother w would come over there and see that you were safely sat in your chair mm -hmm. and they would continue the conversation I said this is why folks want to go to the national meetings because you get all this fanfare mm -hmm. I didn't know it happened everywhere mm -hmm. but they did this kind of thing uh, at, at Boulay's mm -hmm. because well what's a Boulay? Boulay is a nas national meeting mm -hmm. for the sorority Rather than calling it a, a conclave, sometimes mm -hmm. they have, I think the Q's call it conclave, I think. Yeah, conclave, that's a, think, yeah, yeah, a meeting within a meeting. I think the Deltas call it conclave, some locality, some communities. But I said, when we leave, Barbara, how are we going to work this? She said, I don't know. Do you see anybody standing with the elbows raised? <laughs> and I just heard it. I said, no. So I said, in Rome, you do as the Romans do. She said, do you see the Supreme Bosses anywhere? I said, yes, I do. She said, no, like she has a trouble with her eyes. And I said, she was so stiff and so polished and practiced that she was going to do the right thing. Barbara said, I can do that. I said, Barbara, you don't look like that. I said, just go back to your old self. I said, you don't even know how to do that. She said, I haven't seen you. She said, I'm going to see you practice it. I said, and she said, you better not say thank you, baby, for escorting me. I, I said, I can say it if I want to. She said, it may not be this kind of environment where you can say that. That hurt my feelings. That's because I had already planned to tell the man, the, the man who took me to the table and was uh, very attentive. 
I was going to say, you're a great sweetheart. And she said, don't say that. I said, why? She said, it may not be protocol. It may not be the right thing to do. She said, didn't, I, didn't we just say we're going to try to do the right thing? I said, yes, Barbara. But brother, I want you to know the desserts they had. I, I've been to a lot of places with desserts where you make choices. You know, you have chocolate cake mm -hmm. or coconut cake. Oh. You can have uh, apple pie mm -hmm. or peach cobbler. Even to the point, if you wanted ice cream, they had every kind of dessert that you would think of. And they had a sweet potato pie uh, on that table. Oh, now, I forgot about manners. <laughs> <laughs> the guy said to me, he says, uh, sweetheart? I said, yes, baby. <laughs> I said, oh, my God. So Barbara looked at me, kind of smiled. I know what she was thinking. I told her not to say that. And then I told her afterwards. I said, no one told him. It was, he said, sweetheart to me. I didn't see why I couldn't say baby to him. <laughs> Brother, he said, did you see any of the choices that hits your fancy? I said, yes, indeed, baby. <laughs> He said, "There's two babies." <laughs> he said, "What was it?" And I will get it for you right now. I'll get your dessert right now. He said. My baby got up to go up to, to the table where all the desserts were, and there was somebody up there. If you told them what you want, do you want an apple pie with cheese, or you want an apple pie with something else? If you wanted apple pie, just plain apple pie, mm -hmm. there was somebody behind the table passing it to you. Mm -hmm. And if a woman went up there to make a choice, not only did she get what she wanted, the one there, they had a, a, I call it an escort waiter up there, would escort that lady back to her table. Mm. Carrying, carrying the, the, the dessert. Carrying the dessert. Mm -hmm. Don't want her little delicate hands carrying all of that dessert. Probably was just a, it probably could have been uh, uh, the pie. It's a pie. Uh, look like pie and jello mm -hmm. mixed together. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of that dessert. <laughs> but when she sat down, everybody said, the Ed Folk table said, welcome back. Mm, mm, mm. So when everybody would have finished, mm. I know I found this out. You didn't eat yours, even though you were the first one to go get yours. Mm. You had to wait. Didn't have to wait. I mean, it was just courtesy. I said, well, if I can get in this pond and enjoy it the way it looks, this is going to be a perfect uh, reception. Mm. My roommate had a specialty. She liked coconut mm. cake. Mm. Her cake was looking so good that the guy who was escorting her, he said, you have just done something you should not have done. And Barbara said, "What? pray tell me. What was that? I said, well, pray tell me. I haven't heard her use that word before. <laughs> pray tell me. <laughs> what are you referring to? He said, that, that coconut cake. He said, that, that is the right home, Baba. Mm. There was an expression I never heard by right home because they had a dessert. <laughs> That's what that means. Yeah. I got to do it too. You know, I haven't seen coconut cakes these days. I mean, I've always seen all no, the time. No, you don't have it. I mean, I, I know they, they have some uh, German chocolate cake that has some coconut, but it's so, I haven't coconut seen that too much either. So like to me, coconut cake has been replaced in a lot of these uh, restaurants to almost like a um, in a rectangle shape. Uh, I 
Okay. I mean, I mean, they 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 use they have a uh, carrot cake has sort of replaced coconut cake. Carrot cake. They using carrot cake, and they're using uh, they're using a coconut cake, but the coconut is almost at the the coconut itself shreds looks almost like they're getting ready to make uh, a a pie with feel that was custard looking because mm -hmm. uh, when we went Walter and I went to dinner on the night of my birthday and the lady said uh, are you enjoying your uh, your your choice <laughs> Walter said yeah I'm very good very good very good and she looked at me I thought about the boule. <laughs> I said, and this way. <laughs> That's your word. That's another one of your words. <laughs> and he said, what else did you want instead? <laughs> I said, right then, we were not communicating. I should not have used that word immensely. <laughs> I should have said, it's good. Mm -hmm. She said, I, anybody, either of you celebrating anything, and Walter said, yes, Sado is uh, celebrating her birthday. When is it? And Walter said, today. She said, don't you touch that piece of paper. That was the bill. <laughs> she came back with a coconut. It was in a square pan. I can't think what that shape is. Rectangle, rectangle I guess. Oh, like a loaf pan? In a loaf pan. Okay. And I, I said, it looks kind of coconut-like to me, to myself. Mm -hmm. She said, and you may I have that? That was the bill. So Walter said, you want it back? I haven't paid for it yet. She said, it has been paid. She is celebrating her birthday. And I do not want her birthday Mm. Ruined because of some from financial gift that you're gonna you would be using. So I said to myself, "This is the place to come." Mm. But they gave me also when we get ready to check out a gift, like a gift certificate mm -hmm. to be used anytime. Any time, any place mm. of one of their building, building businesses. I have one more uh, question about, uh, I guess, the sorority because, um, uh, as well, you don't notice, but uh, I have a, I, I did theater for for, for for a long time actually. I still do theater, um, but I started what's called a Negro Ensemble Company, and this the second season was the first season. I think it's like the beginning of the second season. I think we did a play called Kungi's Harvest. Uh, and it's and and so what happened? But the play is a play, uh, um, you know, at, at Negro Ensemble at, at NEC, uh -huh. but it was uh, very it was successful. And it was, mm -hmm. it was African thing, and everybody was. This is the sixties, end of the sixties. Everybody's into African things. In fact, when we was doing the play, we all the cast members as well as the crew, and you know, because I was uh -huh. painting, we all learned how to stick fight. <laughs> you know, we we did stick fighting. You know, it's, that's another interesting story because it's, it's in the, in South Africa. They something there's a whole initiation where you do stick fighting, you know, and then just part of a man kind of thing. Anyway, that's I want to get to that. But what happens sometime afterwards? I think it was Ossie Davis uh, had the idea to make a film in Africa of Conkey's Harvest, and I think he went to some sorority to get funding. I'm not sure if it was the, it was the AK, I don't know who it was, you know, I forgot who it was, I guess I can look it up. But it was kind of interesting because they had enough financing to finance a film, at least in the 60s, like that. I guess they don't do that. Yeah, but what other things did, 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 does a sorority find? I mean, how do they, uh, do, do they help? Well, what do they do? What was the mission? Every person in attendance at the boule or either the local groups, you have to pay a registration fee. Mm -hmm. Many times the reg registration fee is based on the capability of the, the supporting 
chapter. If our chapter, I O to Omega's chapter, is going to do the bully, mm -hmm. and and uh, the registration fee may may be, I'm just say seventy five dollars. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could afford the seventy five dollars, you would go representing the be a representative from the chapter, mm -hmm. or if you are a brand new person and you've never been to one, the chapter will take care of you. Mm -hmm. The chapter will take care of your flight. Mm -hmm. The chapter will take care of the hotel. They'll take care of everything. And they just accidentally will give you some spending change. <laughs> <laughs> I fell, well, fell out of the purse. Some, let me <laughs> tell you something. When I graduated from Virginia State College and I came into I O to Omega, there were people in ages from 100 down. Mm. Down was a group of us who were just coming in. Mm. It was time now for new officers. I said, oh boy, I'll get a chance to see the installation of offices. And mm -hmm. I was so thrilled. Mm -hmm. I heard my name being called. I said, what? they want me to count the votes, I thought. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that one of the senior AKAs in there was recommending me as a candidate for the chapter president. And I was trying to explain to them, I don't know how to do that. We didn't learn, I didn't learn that at, at Virginia State. You know, I'm too young. I want to, I give me a chance to get in here to learn what you do and what you don't do. And I'll reconsider. Somebody said, is there another vote for, for the person who nominated me? So I said, I second that with love. <laughs> And I appreciate y'all. I said, well, who is that with that voice? I thought it was the Supreme Bosses had gotten out here. Brother, it was almost like it was a rigged thing. They closed the voting on the one name. <laughs> Your name. <laughs> My name. And I applauded because I thought it was nice. Ever who that was, I will certainly support that person. <laughs> <laughs> the lady girl sitting beside me. She said, You know, you clapping for yourself? I said, Not really. They haven't voted yet. She said, Did you see um, Ma Wingo? Ms. Wingo was a kind of older person, and they had given her that loving name, Ma mm. Wingo. That's why I call you Ma. It's a loving thing. Well, Ma Wingo got up and gave. Not only did she make, she made. The announcer, Allie Hicks, another one of the sorrows, who was responsible for a teacher a qualification and teacher, I forgot what the word they used, but seemingly some teachers were not getting the same salary. Mm. as others and I thought when she was talking that was mean that if you were just a, a brand new teacher you had a, a the scale was a little different mm -hmm. I guess if you've been there for 10 years or you've at, at a school district mm -hmm. and you came into Norfolk and they were paying you what you had a custom paying mm -hmm. the receiving and I said, that's a smart woman. I said, I'm glad I'm in this chapter. Mm. Didn't realize what she was doing was making an endorsement mm -hmm. of the voting. And she said, I know our sorrow, our baby sorrow may not have the connections she may not have something. She named all these things that I may not have. She said, you wouldn't expect that. She's a fresh baby out of the university at Virginia State University. I thought that was so nice. 
But I didn't know what the next thing was going to be. Mm. As Basilus, she said. As, as who? As Basilus. Basilus, okay. And I said, well, who is that? <laughs> Girl sitting beside me, she said, that's you. Oh, Basilus, like offices. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we do not want her, our Basilus, going to meetings and conference, working with conferences and things without having the ample uh, financial backing mm -hmm. to help her speak. I said, when you go to a meeting, you got to pay some money to speak. I said, I'm going to ask them, what is the procedure to ask you what you renege? <laughs> <laughs> Before I could get the question out, Ma Wingo got up and said, when I tell your Uncle Donald, Ma Wingo's husband, Uncle Donald, thought he was, I think he thought he was an AKA. Because whenever the AKAs were doing anything and Ma Wingo was in part of, you would always see uh, Mr. Wingo bringing her bag. Hovering about, yeah. Now, you know, getting out. And she said, whenever they were going to meet at her house, that's when we would meet at homes then sometimes. She said he would get up and say, all right, we got to get this house straightened up here. She never said clean, straighten up. She said, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell Paul Wingo that we have, a, he has a new daughter. Mm -hmm. See, he said that all of us were like his children. Mm -hmm. She said, and he treated us that way. And I thought that was a nice thing for her to have said. But I said, what is this? They don't want me to go anywhere without the proper funds. I got to pay some money to be bossless. Mm -hmm. No one told me that, bro. Mm -hmm. But in my own mind, I said, they're doing everything is top drawer. I better go see if I can find me some money from somewhere. The girl who is the treasurer said, uh, I'd like to make this announcement until uh, our newly uh, voted in newly Lossalos. Mm -hmm. I said, where they get this? They change the voice, you know. I said, I know these people. <laughs> he said, they don't sound like that. <laughs> I think, she said, I think since I am custodian of the funds, I suggest that we give her an immediate fund so she may use at her discretion, be it sorority wise or otherwise. Really? I said to myself, I kind of set up and I said, this is not bad. I, I said, they'll probably just give me $5 or $2 or $1. No, not two. $1 or $5 or 50 cents. <laughs> Brother, the girl who was treasurer said, just give me a moment. She took out this book. I said, it looks like a Bible to me, almost. Not thick as a Bible, but large as a Bible. I got her pen out and started writing. And she said, would you please give me the exact spelling of your first name, Dorothea? And I told her. I said, why she put my name in that book? I thought she was putting my name in that book because I was a new officer. And mm. that was the book that they used for officers. Mm. No one told me that, bro. Mm. But it looked like that to me. And then Ma Wingo came over to me and said, for your discretion. Yeah. I said, now, no one told me that AKAs were rich until now. I know they are rich. They can just give you money like that for my discretion. Yeah. I said, they have a lot of faith in me or somebody. Yeah. 
Right. Well, maybe they read your heart. And they read your intentions. They they they, they had what they, what they used to call back in the day a good vibe from you. You you know you were you were you were glowing with you know righteousness goodness uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I said I didn't know, but when I got mad when I married, they are not in the habit of giving you a reception at at a, a, when you get ready to get married or when you marry. That's at the discretion of the chapter what they would like to do. <laughs> what did I get of all the gifts my Wingo gave me? A frying pan. Mm. Um, this is a frying pan. With a pipe, pipe plate. Mm. Pie pan, mm. a cake pan, mm. and something else is to use for cooking. Let me ask you about the frying pan. Now, was it one of those uh, real cast iron frying pans? No, uh, uh-uh, no. This was a Teflon, mm. and I had not. I didn't couldn't afford a, a Teflon. I had a black frying pan, but I didn't have a Teflon. Mm-hmm. And then said. And the at the next meeting, please come a few minutes early. And when you place your gifts, put them over over on a table that'll be near Baby Zora. Mm-hmm. I said, now what do I have to make a presentation to somebody as being the Baby Zora? Mm-hmm. I didn't realize they were doing it for me. That was going to be my gifts from the chapter. And the chapter was doing a reception for me. They had not been doing that. I said, now, this isn't half bad. I couldn't wait to get home and tell Mother and Daddy what I had been graced with. Brother, let me tell you, there was one lady named Wanza Webb Wanza Webb could not sit in a chair like this. She was that heavy. Mm. They, Wanza Webb always sat on a bench. They had a bench in the, in the room where we met. Because that would be the only place where she could sit comfortably. Mm. She said, help me out. <laughs> it went over there, went on Two on one side and two on the other side with her arm trying to help her not get up. Mm-hmm. And she said, you know I don't have a lot to say unless it me it's important. That's that's right. Go right on say what you have to say, baby. Somebody said I said, somebody using my terminology, baby. <laughs> I said, maybe this is what they say down here. Mm-hmm. Brother, once a web got up, she said, you know how old I am. They say, yes, ma'am. You know I love this sorority. Yes, ma'am. And you know I love this experience we have here tonight. They say, yes, ma'am. I said, oh, so when one's a web speaks, you say, yes, ma'am, you just can't say yes. Yeah, that's like, that's the, the, you have to do the official amen. They're not just the, you know. That, one, I said, one's a web is like, that was for E.M. Hutton came into business. <laughs> yes, he felt, yeah, when E.F. Hutton talks, you listen or everybody listens to something like that, that he wasn't around. Well, he was didn't dead. Didn't know about that. Mm-hmm. But we had once a web. And she said, I arise. She was already up there to help her up. <laughs> yes. With two things on my mind. And they said, what is it, sister? What is it? What is it? And she said, first of all, <laughs> I want to make, I will make a, a make a suggestion. Somebody says, is it a suggestion or a recommendation or is it a demand? She says, Sora, would you interrupt me when I'm trying to make a profound statement? And the, the girl said, I'm sorry, Ms. sorry, Miss Webb. They didn't say Sora, Miss Webb, was a Webb. They <laughs> just said Miss Webb, and she said. You've done something tonight, you know, uh, the other night at the election time. 
that we don't normally do. You voted yes for baby Sora as our bossless. You raised your hand and with approval. You did something and something. And since we're doing a whole lot of the first time, I suggest once a web, 100 something years or whatever she was, that we make a reception for a, 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 as a, a little love gift for any sorrow who's contemplating marriage to let them know they have our backings. Let her know that they have our backing. Uh, it, can I get an, a second on that? <laughs> Who gives the second? My wingo. <laughs> she said, I rise. I said, protocol. I don't have to. I'm going to get me a book on this. I rise with a second that. She, she could have sat right in her seat and said, I second that. No, you had to rise. Made it official. And I said to myself, so they don't have receptions for uh, weddings and things of this sort. I said, well, maybe when I get my, I start working and I have something, I can, uh, I can do that. I don't have any other responsibilities. When she sat down, Aline Hicks stood. When I told you they did the equal pay, got up and said, to, uh, have we found out that the baby, the baby Sorrel may be in need of something to put in her wallet? Has anyone acquired that information? <laughs> I said, I wonder who's going to be that person who's going to say that. Going to give me some money to put in my wallet? They don't even know if I have a wallet. <laughs> I ain't been working that long. Who can afford a wallet? You know, but put mine in a bag or something. Mm -hmm. Brother, the person who was in charge of some kind of finance thing. Not the treasurer, but this was a, another Soror who took care of emergency uh, fit funds. And I, I did not realize she had uh, on the bank, on the, on the checks, mm -hmm. her name was on there. The Basila's name was on there, mm -hmm. and somebody else's. In order, and she had the freedom to write a check. Mm -hmm. And I said, "Oh, I got to go to a bank somewhere and get this cash." One of the Zoras said beside me, "She said, sweetheart, you don't have to go to the bank." I didn't say I had to go to the bank. I just, she said, I had that look on my face. Mm -hmm. If they're gonna give me something, I. Got to get the thing cash. Hmm. Uh, the treasurer in the group came over to me and she said, if you don't mind uh, endorsing it, we'll take care of this. You won't have to go to the bank. Hmm. Going to the bank is so impersonal. I said to myself, going to the bank is a pressure. <laughs> impersonal. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll go there and wait till they open tomorrow morning. <laughs> They took the check and she came back a few seconds later from the table. I guess where she had her money and stuff and gave me an envelope. And it says up there, baby sorrow bag. Norman then. Uh, I think it said, welcome and God bless you mm -hmm. on the envelope. Hmm. Well, I don't know if you're supposed to open it right then to say thank you. Wait till you get home. But wait, wait till you get in your car if you had one. Hmm. 
Brother, I didn't know. I just had, held it and said, thank you. This is so sweet. They said, somebody said, I thought you would say something like that. I said, well, not these folks here are old, but they got some young, young sense and appreciation. Brother, let me tell you, when I found out that I was the first person that had received a reception for for a, an announcement for your wedding. I was the first one that was the youngest hmm. of Abbasalus. This is in your chapter. This is in the 50s, right? This is your, your chapter? 57. Mm -hmm. And and that they said, I was the only one that they had a nomination of an officer with their inability <laughs> for the person to not say anything about if somebody say I agree or I vote I I, I say I, he said and you're the first person where my wingo mm -hmm. took over that position I said my wingo the big been had been doing this she did it with so much class and everything. I said, I thought she was one of the matriarchs of the group. You know, mm -hmm. she'd done this before. She hadn't done it before. Mm -hmm. She always said, if I have an opportunity, I'd like to do this. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't a shock to the sorrows there. Mm -hmm. And he had a, then when they were trying to get the things, wrap them up, they didn't just, just take them, put them in a box. They re-wrapped each one. Mm. Now, I don't have an automobile to go take it and put it in. I didn't even have the... I thought I didn't even have enough money to get a cab to go home. Mm. When I looked at around the room, they had gotten out of their seats, come over there to the table where the presents gifts were, and had been re-wrapped. And standing ready to go home, take me home. I said, they will take me home. They don't even know where I live. I said, they shouldn't do that. I said, they've done all of this for me. They should not take me, shouldn't have to take me home. And I mentioned this to Ma Wingo. I said, Ma Wingo, do they? Do I have to be taken home like this? Do I have to do this? She said, no, not have. We want to. It's a difference now when you want to do something than when you have to do that. When you have to do it, sometimes you are part of that decision. Mm -hmm. Tonight, you don't have that decision. Mm -hmm. We have the decision. Mm -hmm. I said, yes, ma'am. Mm. Somebody right. said, yes, ma'am. Mm. Yes, Ma Wingo. Mm. <laughs> but brother, that chapter is nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. And I I just have not seen a group of women who are consistently top draw people. Mm-hmm. But you would not know it just knowing them. Mm -hmm. You just see this, just another AK, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, not with not not with Ma Wingo mm -hmm. and, and and Daddy Wingo mm -hmm. because they would not want it to be just another group. Mm -hmm. Well, and you when you start going in mm -hmm. hotels and meeting and having things, we went to. I forgot for a re for a Founders Day mm. luncheon or something at this hotel. Um, we were all where they had made reservations, and we were all sitting there eating. And then somebody said, "Hurry up and eat! Hurry up and eat!" I said, "What voice is this? Hurry up and eat!" The waiters and the waiters were getting ready to remove your plate, your dinner plate. So you can be replaced with your dessert. And you had to hurry up and eat. Or they'll take the plate 
when you halfway finish. This is the way to fuck with sin, bro. This is the plate. Mm. They had the hand on one end side of the plate and the fork in the other <laughs> hand. <And> when, <laughs> when the waiters came by to pick your plate, they would see your finger, but they said, oh, you have not finished. We said, no, we had not finished yet. That was the way we were able to <laughs> eat our lunch holding a plate. So we always said, be sure we don't go to that hotel and have our luncheon because you have to work hard on holding a plate. Somebody said, suppose you're having trouble with with your other hand. Who's going to hold the plate while you try to finish eating? Somebody said, that's why we have to go to another, another hotel <laughs> where they won't make you do that. We thought, you know, every time you go to somewhere that's new, and everybody seems to know it but you. Mm. We figured this was not the rules, regular routine that you had to learn. Uh, the, what it is when you go to a, a meeting of that sort. Mm. You have to learn. But then we found, I found out that all of them are not, all of the groups would not be like that. Mm. Hotels. So we made it our business. Everybody who made the reservation made their business wanted to know what is their routine mm. for uh, consuming the uh, food that's been prepared for us. Mm. If they said, oh, when you finish, we, you finish. Mm. That was not a, oh, that's okay. Mm. You have some latitude. Mm. And if they said, oh, we've tried to make it about a, a 35 minutes. Always a special time, 35 minute between this and that. And look, we said, and the girl who would be checking said, Thank you. I will we'll have to get back with you because I have to report this to my mm -hmm. other sisters. Yeah. Well, you know, we uh, talk about uh, finishing up. We have to finish now because, you know, this is a, we got, we, you got to get to the hairdresser today. We have a bunch of stuff to do right now. I got to make you some breakfast right now. So we're going to end it here and let me, and we'll talk. Again, I enjoy talking I to you. I can't talk with you anymore. Why? Because I have to finish my water. <laughs>